So again, uh, we've had this point in our course several times before. You not only want to be able to do something, you want to be able to defend your work with an explanation as to why no one, regardless of how much money you pay them, can do better. Therefore, the boss should pay you lots. Okay, there's a question here. Um, is it possible to find a maximum flow in a sufficiently large graph without, um, without having to analyze all the possible? Oh, oh uh, a, a, a wonderful question. He asked, is it possible to find a maximum flow in a reasonably large network in a way that doesn't in consider all possibilities? And the answer is a definitive yes. We're going to get a polynomial time, so low, a fairly low order polynomial in the network size. So if it has n nodes, this will run in like n cubed iterations. So it's very small. But this algorithm is, is reasonably complex. So before I begin to explain the algorithm to you, I want to make a, some general comments. Optimizers, the serious ones over in ISYE that study whole classes of problems, consider a problem to be a primal slash dual problem when it has the following characteristics. There's some big problem you're trying to solve. That's called the primal problem. The primal problem is solved iteratively. Iter iteratively. So you find a solution, then you get a better solution, then you get a better solution, then you get a better one, a better one, a better one. And you do this some reasonable number of times, and then you halt with a solution which is provably optimal. However, each iteration involves doing a little problem. The little problem is called the dual problem. The dual problem keeps changing. The primal problem never changes. It's always the same problem you're trying to solve. Now, now the temporary solutions that you get, they keep changing. But the little dual problem it keeps changing. And each time you solve this problem completely, you get the solution to this, and then you use it to improve this. Then you get the solution to this, you use it to improve this. You go from primal back to dual, dual back to primal, over and over and over again. In this case, the dual problem, the little one, will be Dijkstra. You will be finding shortest paths in the network. Not in this network. And that network keeps changing. But you see, you've already mastered Dijkstra, and you're already writing code, or you're getting code, so it's real easy to do this. The network problem is, is the hard one. 